Roof Pawn System is passive heating and cooling technique for a building. In this system, water is used for heating and cooling because it has high thermal storage capacity. Water is placed in a roof in a plastic bag which is exposed to sun. The pond support should be high thermal conductivity which easily transfer the heat. It can be metal or reinforced slab. Movable insulate panel helps to cover the water bags. In winter, daytime, water filled plastic bags are exposed to the sun. After water is heated, it transfer the heat into the room. Here the structure should be uninsulated which can easily transfer heat and the exterior wall should be insulated. At night, the water filled plastic bags are covered with insulate panel. It helps to prevent heat loss and trap heat within the roof and transfer to the room below it. In summer, it is used in a opposite way. In a day, water is covered with panel which will reflect the solar radiation. The heat inside the room goes to the water plastic bags because heat always transfer from high to low. At night, water is uncovered and heated water becomes cool and take heat from the room, making interior space cool. So this is how roof pond system work. The temperature below the earth is constant throughout the year. By comparing air temperature and ground temperature is difference of minimum of 2 degree to 6 degree Celsius. By using this principle, the earth air tunnel used for preheating and cooling which consists of network of pipe buried at reasonable depth below the ground. Benefits of this system is it reduce the consumption up to 15%, 5 to 10% reduction in air conditioner demand. Save electricity bill to 8 to 10% and it is environment friendly. The hot air inlet through the wind tower which is connected to the underground duct. The duct pipe is laid down below 3 to 4 meters from the surface. It also depend on soil properties and water content. Higher the length would mean increased heat transfer and higher efficiency. But it also makes uneconomical. So they're different kind of loop system like vertical and spiral loop system which make efficient. The size of pipe will be vary from 3 inch to 30 inch. Lesser the diameter of pipe more energy to move the air because of the friction in pipe. And after air is treated, it goes to inside the building. Solar chimney can also be added to extract hot air from room. So that's how earth air tunnel work. But it can't be suitable in all region due to earth properties, bedrock near the project site and availability of the spaces. Solar chimney are natural way of ventilation of building using passive solar energy. It is a vertical shaft utilizing solar energy to enhance the natural stack ventilation through building. When cool air enter in building, by indoor environment, it becomes warm and goes up because hot air is lighter than cool air. To remove hot air, opening are provide in upper part. By this the lower vacant space is taken by cooler air. And by this cycle the room get natural ventilation.
the solar chimney also work on same principle. First the chimney is coated with black material to absorb maximum sunlight. In winter, for heating building. When the sunlight hit the chimney, the air inside the chimney is heated. If the top exterior vent of the chimney are closed, the heated air is forced back to living space. In summer, for cooling space, the air inside the chimney again gets heated. But the vent at top of chimney is kept open so heated air escape out. The new fresh air come inside to fill the gap. It can also combine with earth air tunnel which we explain in previous video. Sunlight is what we get free from the nature. We can use passive technique to heat and cool the building. Thermal storage wall is system to store heat coming from the sun in wall and transfer to the room. The potential of this method mainly depend on the heat capacity of the storage material. First building should be oriented where the maximum light can get. For Northern Hemisphere, it will be South and for Southern Hemisphere, it will be North. The sun radiation directly hit to the glazing glass. The thermal mass wall placed in certain gap between the glass for air channel. The thermal mass wall is made of stone, concrete or water bag which has high heat stored capacity. On the outside surface, it is coated with black for maximum absorption of heat. Two opening are made in the wall. We know that hot air is lighter than cool air. Cool air is always on lower space. So cool air goes from lower opening to the gap between wall and glass. There the air become warm and return from the top opening. That way the room becomes warm in a day. At night, the top opening will be closed to prevent escape of warm air from room. And the thermal walls start to radiate heat inside the room. Wind catcher is a traditional cooling technique that has been used in a hot climate. It is a chimney-like structure constructed on a rooftop. It catch cooler breeze that prevail at a higher level above the ground and direct into the building. Cooler breeze enter inside the interior through wind tower facing incoming wind. Once the cool air enter the space. The warm air circulating inside the space is pushed out through opening created on the opposite side. By this way wind catcher helps to create natural ventilation in the building.